Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you how to make a chat GBT bot in Discord. Let's throw an example up here to show you what it's like. So we can say at Zectech bot, I'm going to throw an ask on there and we can ask it how do I sort a list in Python. And look at that, it has responded with an answer just like if you were using the website. So cool, let's get into the video. So here in Discord, I've created four files. One is a .env file, which will have our environment variables for OpenAI and Discord. We'll also have an app.py, a bot.py, and a requirements.in. So we'll go ahead and head over to the OpenAI website. And to get the OpenAPI API key, we'll go ahead and go to platform.openapi.com. And from there, you can sign in. And once you sign in, you can go over here on the left side to user with API keys. And then over here, we can go create new secret key and you can name it whatever you want. I just name it my test key. So it'll go ahead and give you the string of your secret key right here. So we'll go ahead and copy it and then open up Visual Studio Code. And so from here in Visual Studio Code, we have our open API key variable. We'll go ahead and paste in the value that we had. All right, now we're gonna head back over to Discord. Okay, so back in Discord, you will want to go ahead and create your own server. I have one already set up over here, so this is the one that I will use. Uh, but you can go ahead and hit the plus for add a server and go ahead and add it there. All right, we're now going to get into creating our own Discord bot. But we will go ahead and go to discord.com slash developers slash applications. From here, we can go ahead and create our bot that we'll use to be our own chat GBT. So we'll go ahead and hit new application on the top right. And from here, you can add whatever name you want. I'm going to go with Zectech bot. And we'll go ahead and check the box and click create. All right, and from here, we now have our bot. So we can go ahead and head over to the left side for OAuth 2 and go to general. So we can go in down here to default authorization link and change this to in-app authorization. And from here on the scope section, you'll want to give it the bot scope. And from here, whenever you give your bot permissions, you should only give it the ones that you need for whatever it is you're trying to do. There's no need to give it all of them. Um, and it's not recommended to just select administrator up here, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for the purpose of this video to make it the easiest to, to demonstrate. All right. And so from here, we'll go ahead and save changes. Awesome. We'll go ahead and over here on the left side to OAuth 2, we'll go to URL generator. And from here, make sure you select bot for the scope. And down here, select the same permission you did in general. And now down here, we have the URL that we can copy and paste into our search bar. Okay, and from here, once we go ahead and paste this in here, it will take us to the link that will pop up a dialog to install our bot onto our server. So here we go. We can go ahead and select the server that we already have or the one you just created. And we'll hit continue. And from here, there'll be a list of permissions. Since we only selected administrator in this tutorial, that's all that will show up and that we have checked. So we can go ahead and authorize it. And I am a human, so we'll go ahead and click that. All right, and there we go. Our bot has been added into our server. So we open up back Discord. We can see on the right side over here that our bot is offline. So now that's awesome that we have it in here, but we'll go ahead and head back over to the developer tab. And from here, we'll go into the bot section. And here, you'll want to click reset token. We'll go ahead and hit yes, do it. And from here, we'll go ahead and copy this value right here. Don't share this with anyone because if anyone happens to get this token, then they can control your bot. And that would not be a fun time. So another thing we need to do is we need to enable this message content intent. So that way we can read the messages inside Discord. So we'll go ahead and save changes. But now that we have that token, we'll go ahead and head back over to VS Code. And our Discord token right here, we'll go ahead and paste this in. All right, now that we have our tokens, let's dive into the code. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a requirements.in file, and we're gonna put all of the packages that we need inside here to install them all at one time. So we're gonna go ahead and add OpenAI, discord.py, and python.env. Once you have that, you can open up the terminal. You can press control backtick or command backtick on Mac. And from here, we can type pip install-r, and the requirements.in file. So go ahead and do that and let it install. 
Okay, and once that's done, we can go ahead and close this. We're going to close these files. Okay, so we go ahead and hop into our bot.py file. We'll go ahead and import OS, Discord, OpenAI. From discord.ext, we'll import the commands. And from .env, we will import load.env. So we can get those environment variables. So we'll go ahead and call that function. Then we'll go ahead and set our token equals to os.getenv of our Discord bot token. We'll go ahead and set up an intents variable with the Discord intents. This is like a set of permissions for the bot, and it's not important for our video right now. But you can look into that if you choose to and see if it meets your needs. And then we'll say bot is equal to commands.bot. And we have to pass it a command prefix. So for this, we'll just put an exclamation point, and we pass it the intents variable into it. And from here, we'll go ahead and call bot.run with our token passed in, and that will show our bot online. Uh, but for here, we'll go ahead and add an at bot.event. And this is a decorator that will wrap around specific functions that you can create for the Discord bot. It allows the bot to listen for specific events. So in this case, I have an async def on ready. So whenever this bot is ready and online, whatever's in here will run. So we'll go ahead and print logged in as our bot's username. And then we'll go ahead and do another at bot.event and we'll make this one an async def on message with a message variable passed into it. So from here, we'll check if the message is from a user and not a bot and the bot is mentioned within the message. So we could say that with if not message.author.bot and the bot.user is mentioned in this message. And we'll go ahead and say user message is equal to message.content.split and we'll go ahead and split it at the first white space and we'll get the second element of the list that comes back from this. This is because whenever we do get this message object, we get the user right here, followed by a space, and the rest of what's in here is the message from the user. And from here, we'll go ahead and say a response is equal to nothing yet. And we'll say if our user message starts with the exclamation point ask, signifying that we are asking a question to our chat GBT and Discord, we'll say our question is equal to message.content, from the fifth index onward to remove that exclamation point ask from the message content. All right, we'll go ahead and scroll back up to the top. And something very important we need to add is our open AI API key. So we'll go ahead and set a variable equal to os.getenv of our open AI API key. And from open API key, we'll set it equal to our key. So that way we can use these commands. Uh, so something I messed up here is we have this discord token. We'll go ahead and rename this. To our discord bot token so that way we can receive it inside of our file so from here we'll say response is equal to open ai.chatcompletion.create and inside here we will pass it the model of our chat gbt 3.5 turbo you can use a different model if you choose to just go to the open ai website and you can see the other models they have available but i believe this one is the cheapest so that's what i'm going with and then we'll pass in a messages object you can put a list of messages in here that you want the chat to recognize. But for this case, we have a role of system. We're passing with the content of you are a helpful assistant. And we'll say the role of user is being passed with the content of whatever our question is. So it'll respond with it. So from here, we'll await message.channel.send. And the response that comes back is a big bit of JSON data. So we'll go ahead and say response of choices of zero message content. Of that's going to be our answer for whatever you ask the chat. So from here, very importantly, we'll add this await bot.process commands. This will process all commands that have been registered for this bot. So we can go ahead and run our bot. And we can see our bot is online. We'll go ahead and head back over to Discord. We have the green mark by our bot. So in here, we'll go ahead and type add Zectech bot. And we'll go ahead and throw that exclamation point ask on there and ask it, what is the meaning? of life and you can see it responded now i have my own chat gbt bot inside of discord how cool is that all right now that we have this working we'll go ahead and turn this into a function called run chat gbt bot and we'll say bot.run then we'll head over to our app.py file and here we'll say from a bot file we will import our run chat gbt bot function and we'll say if our name is equal to main, meaning this is the file that's being run, we'll go ahead and run our bot. All right, so we can go ahead and run the file just to be sure everything works. And we can see we have logged in. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you learned a lot, and now you can use ChatGBT in Discord. Leave a thumbs up, like, and subscribe.